Alors, bienvenue et toi à vos premiers corps après Pâques. Et c'est évident, hein, tu as vu ça avant quand j'ai fait les GCSEs avec J. Alors, donc, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. This is what it's all about. Now, year 12 exams, we don't know when they'll be, but I'm sure Mr. Murphy will make you sit some exams um, even during coronavirus time. So, this lesson and what we're going to do is do all the revision that we would have done if you're still at school. Now, this revision with me is absolutely crucial. The revision and the time you spend at home is so important for you, for your grade, not just for your year 12 exam grade, but for your year 13 grade, the big one. If you're working hard now, if you can really revise all the stuff and you've got a really good knowledge of year 12, it's going to help you up, help you out so much when it gets to year 13 in revision because you've got so much more to do. So it's simple. Do the revision book that I've given you, spend the time we've told to spend on it, and you will do really, really well for your year 12 exam, but more crucially, for your year 13 as well. If you don't do that, you won't do as well as you could, and A-level is so tough, you need everything you can to cope with this exam. Donc, we have no idea when the year 12 exams are going to be. I put this on from last year, and these are the weeks that it was meant to be, but I'd be very surprised if we're back at school on the 22nd of June. I hope you are. Um, hopefully we are back for the end and they will put you through year 12 exams. If they don't, it'll be at the start of year 13. You guys need to be ready for it. As soon as I've got some dates or any information about when we're back, obviously we'll let you know. So today then, we are carrying on with the revision. We're going to revise module one. That's your week's task this week. For six weeks, we'll be doing this. And for this week, we're going to do module one family, which Dr. Odebemi taught you. We're going to do all of Dr. Odebemi's modules. I've taught them before, so I'm not I'm talking about. Next time, next week, you need to complete all for unit two, l'éducation. So you've got this in your booklet. Make sure you get on this. Make sure you do all of these things. I've given you four hours to go through it four hours revision on this yes you still have to do your set to build work as well yes the doctor of them is work it is a lot of work but this is revision for your exams guys you know how hard it is this time of year you've got to push yourself even if you're not in school alors donc qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire aujourd'hui donc utilisez vos cahiers pour vous aider donc ici on a les dates ici on a les titres du genre mettez-moi ce pause et essayez de dire les quatre verbes ici, comment, comment dire les quatre verbes en anglais, 5, 6, 7, 8, comment dire les choses ici en français. Mettez-moi ce pause et fais un petit contrôle. Alors mes petits, let's go through the answers to today. We're just testing your module 1, la famille. We're going to start with a vocab test. Then we're going to go through a tough listening and reading activity at that sort of AS year 12 level to just go through what you need to do and talk about it. This is all a test for today. Starting with our post and note challenge. You should have all eight of these after your revision. Did you get all eight of them? On va voir. Alors donc, ce pec is to civil partnership, it's a verb, to civil partnership oneself. So remember, the PEC is, is the French version of a civil partnership. They've been around for ages since I was doing A-level, we used to learn about them. Um, they're for gay people, but they're also for straight couples as well. Remember, state and church are separated, so this is a state way to get recognition for your relationship. Bouleversé is a beautiful verb used in loads of contexts. It means like to distress, to upset. I'd say it's stronger than that, it's like to completely over turn. Ma vie a été bouleversée, so my life's been completely upturned. Alors, se réconcilier, voilà, is to make up. If you reconcile, you make up with your friends. As I say, is what you like to do to me, is to annoy somebody or something. To marry, there's two different ways to say it. On, on peut redire, se marier, u, et puis Your spouse in English is your partner, and it comes from this verb in French, épuiser. To argue is disputer, you se disputer, and then to say I've had enough, you say je n'ai marre. I have have had enough. Je n'ai marre. Je n'ai marre de ma famille, surtout pendant lockdown. Alors donc, oui, verb, hopefully you got all eight of these. Let's test your vocab that bit more. Alors, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Guys, this is a proper vocab test. There's no point in you cheating on it. This is to show you and to get you thinking about how good your vocabulary is for module one. If you flop this test, if you don't get the, like, the marks you need, go back and revise your vocab before carrying on with this lesson. That's the best thing about lockdown is it's going to help you guys become independent for university and develop. So put me on pause if you can't do the vocab Go back and practice and then come back to this vocabulary test. You can even reset this yourself tomorrow if you want to see what you've remembered. Alors, c'est plus difficile aujourd'hui. Donc, pour numéro 1 de toi, qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? 
Pour 4, 5 et 6, qu'est-ce que c'est en français Il doit être exact, il doit être parfait aujourd'hui. Donc attention, pour 7, 8, 9, 10, il faut mettre le mot dans le bon espace. Mais attention, pour les verbes, il faut conjuguer les verbes correctement aussi. Et les deux verbes sont irréguliers. Donc ça, c'est beaucoup plus difficile. Donc, vous avez un défi additionnel ici. Comment traduire les phrases ici Aujourd'hui, 14, c'est une bonne note parce que c'est beaucoup plus difficile aujourd'hui. 16, c'est très bien. 18 ou plus, c'est parfait. Alors donc, je vais donc quoi 7 minutes parce que c'est difficile aujourd'hui. Mettez-moi ce pause sur ton portable. Mettez un, un minuteur pour 7 minutes et commencez ça. When you restart me, I'll go for the answers. Bon courage, mes petits. Alors, mes petits, je vais faire les réponses maintenant. Alors, donc, early, j'adore ce verbe. Early veut dire, like, to yell, to scream, to shout. Use it for kids. Um, le baby, hurl, tue le ton, toute la soirée. Il a early, love that, guys. Early is to, to yell, to shout, to scream. Beautiful verb. Uh, la lune de miel. La lune is the moon. Miel is honey. Donc, ça veut dire... A honeymoon. Voilà. Alors, numéro 3, avoir le droit de, j'ai le droit de, is to have the right to. So, you can use this talking about weddings, uh, gay marriage, etc. Numéro 4, 5 et 6, ce sont similaires. Il faut savoir les différences entre a same-sex family, ça veut dire une famille homoparentale, a single-sex family, une famille monoparentale, and then a blended family, une famille recomposée. Now make sure you know the difference between these, <laughs> included in English, so make sure you're ready for it. All this vocabulary could come up, and this could be crucial to understanding something, to getting a mark on something, or in your speaking exam, I might ask you to tell me, what do you mean by a famille homoparentale? So you've got to know and be able to use this vocab. All right, six marks in. We have a long way to go. This section was really tough. Alors, c'était beaucoup plus difficile aujourd'hui. Donc, ici, qu'est-ce qui manque? Ça veut dire suite à la loi de 19 mai 2013 sur le mariage par tous. La France devient le neuvième pays européen de autoriser le mariage homosexuel. Alors, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire en anglais? Following, so suivre is to follow, so suite à is how you want to say following to something. So following the law of the 18th of May 2013, on marriage for everyone, France became, donc c'est devenir, penser de conjugation, so remember venir is your stem verb here, so devenir. France became the ninth, the ninth, the ninth European country to authorize gay marriage. Alors, numéro 8, l'institution de la famille en France connaît une vraie évolution. So it's a verb connaître, you have to know how it changes. What does it mean? The institution of the family in France knows a big, a real evolution. What does that mean? Uh, family in France is changing. We've seen a big change is how I'd probably translate that in English. The institution of the family in France has seen a big change, but in French you'd say has known a true evolution. Alors, numéro 9, la structure contemporaine le plus représenté en France aujourd'hui est la famille monoparentale. Crazy stat this. So, the most represented structure, family structure at the moment in France is a single parent family. So, most families in France are single parent families. Isn't that insane? Alors, et numéro 10, la naissance de ce type de famille est le résultat de l'évolution des mœurs. So, the birth of this type of family, um, a family monoparentale, is a result of a change in mœurs, I'd say, is like attitudes or manners. So, a change in attitudes and what's socially acceptable. Back in the day, a single parent would find it really, really hard in society. We look down on them these days. It's the most popular family in France. It happens, mate. So, um, here, there's a big change in attitudes towards single families. They're absolutely fine, as they should be. Alors, extra challenge. We argue all the time and I have the impression that she no longer loves me. Ouf. Alors, ça veut dire, nous, nous disputons. Eu, on se dispute tout le temps. Et j'ai l'impression que elle ne m'aime plus. Lovely extra challenge that. Guys, give yourself a mark out of 20. 
40 normal, you've done all well. Under 14, get back, get back to your vocabulary and see before you move on today. 80 normal, absolute solid attempt. Bravo. Alors donc, ça suffit, vous savez bien le vocabulaire. Maintenant, on va parler un peu plus des examens. Alors donc, in your pack, it's the last two pages. You've got this. We talk about keeping it simple. I've like looked, this is when the paper first came out, when the exam first came out. I looked at what language I needed to do it. So I did like a practice paper and these are the words I used and I just like advanced it. So this is some, these are some really useful expressions for answering in French. Remember, keep it simple. Alors donc, ce qu'on va faire maintenant, c'est quelques activités qui sont um, en accord avec Year 12. C'est donc, c'est pour l'examen AS qui n'existe pas. But this is the level you need to be at. You know our key tips for survival. You're really good at these. Don't lose them. Alors donc, on va commencer avec une activité d'écoute. Je vous donne deux minutes pour se préparer. Vous savez ce qu'il faut faire dans Pensez de traduire les questions. Il faut savoir à l'envers qu'est-ce que les questions vues des mondes et penser de comment faire. Euh, quand tu écoutes, il faut contrôler euh, l'enregistrement. Alors donc, deux minutes pour se préparer. Et voilà, c'est l'activité aujourd'hui. Donc, lisez-tu ça? Passez deux minutes, mettez-moi ce pause et traduisez-tu les choses ici. Ici, on a les numéros. Donc, si c'était moi, j'écrirais les numéros ici en français. Le pays d'accueil le plus touché par les crêpes de l'adoption sont. Alors, donc, attention aux questions ici. Euh, Mettez-moi ce pause et préparez-vous. On y va. Alors, right guys, when you're prepared, restart me the next slide. The listening comes on like automatically rather than sending you the file that never works. So, have a little listen. On that slide, remember, listen to this as many times as you want. You can pause it, stop it, rewind the video, see what you've got. It's on the next slide here. Good luck, everyone. On y va. L'adoption en France. Depuis, Depuis quelques, quelques années, l'adoption internationale, internationale est, en est en forte baisse, baisse en, en France. En, France. en, en 2005, 2005 4 000 enfants de toute nationalité étaient adoptés en France. Ce chiffre atteint seulement 1 500 en 2012. Tous les pays d'accueil sont ainsi touchés. Aux États-Unis, l'adoption a chuté de 60 Cette évolution serait due entre autres à la ratification par de, de nombreux pays, pays de naissance, de naissance des, enfants des enfants à la Convention, à la convention de la Haye de 1993. Cette, Cette convention, convention indique que l'enfant délaissé par ses, par ses parents doit être, être maintenu dans, dans sa famille, famille élargie, élargie ou être adopté dans, dans son, son pays. pays. Le but, Le but est d'éviter un, un traumatisme supplémentaire, supplémentaire et de, et de lutter, lutter contre, contre le trafic, trafic d'enfants. Alors donc, right guys, so on the next slide, I'm going to go through the answers for this. I'm going to go through the transcript. So if you're not done, listen to this again, rewind it and go for it. Bon courage mes petits. Et voilà, ici on a la transcription. Alors donc, if you want, put me on pause and have a little read through the transcript yourself to see what you can do and to check your answers. I'm going to go through it now. So, always work out the questions first. In 2012, how many children were adopted by French people? So, be careful here. In 2012, they always give you more than one date. There's one, 2005, so you'll hear one for that. And here's 2012 down here. This one's pretty nice. They, they hide it in one of the figures. So, in 2005... 4,000 kids from all nationalities were adopted in France. This figure reached only 1,500 in 2012. So our answer is 1,500. So look at this verb here, éteindre. And this word here, chiffre, un chiffre, is a figure. You've got to know these words, guys. They will definitely come up. So if you didn't, write them down. Figure, and this is the verb to reach. Right, guys, next one. Le pays d'accueil le plus touché par les crises de l'adoption sens. So the... The countries of welcome are the most touché. Remember, touché is to touch, but also to affect. So the countries the most affected by the crisis of adoption and the adoption crisis are, and here you've got the different ones. So France and the US, only France, 
the ensemble is like the togetherness. Um, so all of the countries or European countries, what does it say? Tous les pays d'accueil sont ainsi touchés aux États-Unis. So you've got this bit, it's a little trap, it just gives an example, but this is the answer. Tous les pays sont ainsi touchés. So it is all countries. C is what you need. Well done if you got those two. Let's have a look at uh, question C and D. Et voilà, donc, même chose maintenant. Mettez-moi ce pause, lisez la transcription ici et vérifiez vos réponses. Quand tu recommences la vidéo, je vous donne les réponses. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, let's go through the answers and have a look. Remember, always start with the questions. This is tough. La convention de la haie. So, like a convention of haie. So, this is like, um, like a meeting or, or like a law that's come into place. So, according to the haie convention or the haie meeting, an, an abandoned child must, and here's your four clues, um, be adopted in its country of origin, be adopted by responsible parents. Surely that doesn't need to be put into law, surely that's a given. Um, an abandoned child must be adopted before the age of three. I wouldn't think so, um, because obviously you have older kids, what are you going to do then? And then finally, an abandoned child must keep their nationality. All right, so I don't think it's this one, and I don't think it's this one. And this is what you need to do. Like, you don't have to be definitive, but I just can't see. Of course, they have to be adopted by responsible parents. Before the age of three? Well, what if they're not? Is that it? They're just in care for the rest of their lives? No way. So I reckon it's between these two. Let's have a look. Here it is. The convention, the Hague Convention of 1993. This convention indicated that children left by their parents must be maintained or looked after in their larger family or be adopted in their country. Therefore, it is... Voilà, à be adopted in their country of origin. And it's just this bit, dans son pays. So say if you're um, in Holland and you're a child, you can't then be adopted by a French person. They want to keep you in Holland. Alors donc, why did they do that? Le convention de la haie cherche à. So chercher is to look for, but it's also like, you can also have like avoir par but. If you're looking for something, you want it as your goal. So what are our options? The convention wants to promote the traffic of children. I don't think anyone wants to promote children trafficking. It's not generally a good thing. All right. Faire diminuer les abandons d'enfants. To lower the abandoning of or giving up of children. Maybe. Faciliter les démarches de adoption. So faciliter is to make something easier. Et this word here, démarche, is like marcher is to walk. So démarche here is the walking of adoption. I translate it as like the process. To make the process of adoption easier, okay, it could be, and then to avoid to the child a new traumatization, so another traumatic experience. All right, so this is a lot harder. What is it looking to do? Le but est, there we go, so there's a synonym, chercher le but est de éviter un traumatisme supplémentaire et de lutter contre le trafic d'enfants. So this is your trap to fight against the trafficking of kids. It's definitely not A, we know it was anyway. And this is it here. Le but est d'éviter un traumatisme supplémentaire. Donc, c'est D. Voilà. Right, guys, give yourself a mark out of four for that for me, please. A tough little test, but that's the level for the year 12 exams. Well done on this. Alors, donc, maintenant, on va tourner vers les activités de lecteur. Alors, you know what to do for the reading exam exactly the same things you still need to get the most out of the question paper read the questions first you know this it gives you that overview that synopsis you still need to make sure you know what the questions are asking you so many times of year 13 last year and this year they've answered something on the exam and, and and they've got and they've understood the text but they haven't understood the question the questions are where the answers are spend your time doing them and do these things as well as you know so two minutes prep six minutes for the activity a lot Voilà, c'est um, le texte aujourd'hui, c'est assez grand. Commencez ici. Mettez-moi sur pause et pour deux minutes, essayez de traduire toutes les phrases pour moi avant de regarder le texte ici. Quand tu recommences la vidéo, je vais vous donner les réponses et je, je vais discuter ça avec vous. Allez, on y va. Courage. Alors, let's go for our answers then. Now, this is, this is a lot tougher today. The text, and it's always this way, the text is all right. It's the questions on what they're asking you that can be really confusing. So let's go through each one and see what you've got. Donc, A, disait, 
Quelle est la différence entre les situations de Paul et Rémi? Did not like this question. It says, what's the differences between Paul and Rémi's situation? There's, there's, there's a lot of differences. There's not, there's not many really. They're both single fathers. Um, but it's just the reason why. So, Paul says, je suis devenu père malgré moi. Um, j'ai dû me consacrer à l'éducation de mes enfants après la mort soudain de ma femme. Whereas this one says après un divorce. Donc, les réponses you need two marks for this. The first one is, Remy is divorced. Remy est divorcé. Keep it simple. And, la femme de Paul est mort. Voilà. So, Remy is divorced and Paul's wife has sadly passed away or anything like that. As long as you've got those two differences, you get the two marks. Look how simple my answers are. Easy. Keep them simple. Get the marks. Alors donc, B. Pour quelle raison Remy a-t-il fait appel de la première décision prise par la juge? Okay, so this is why I don't like the text. It's back and forth. So you have to look at Remy. So for what reason did he appeal the first decision taken by the judge? Here we go. J'ai fait appel de la décision du juge. Je me suis battu pour devenir le seul tuteur légal de notre enfant. J'ai notamment insisté sur all of this. So for what reason did he do an appeal? Parce que il a perdu. Because he lost. Because if you only like make an appeal if you've lost it. So what was the reason? He appealed because he lost and he wanted the kid all the time. So if you've got anything like that, give yourself the mark. Weird one that. Numéro C. Uh, que ne peut plus faire Paul maintenant qu'il est père célibataire. All right. So what not can longer do. So what can Paul no longer do now that he's a single dad? Je ne peux plus sortir avec mes amis comme avant. There you go. Il ne peut plus sortir avec ses amis. Or you could just put sortir avec ses amis. Let's keep it simple. That is enough for the mark today. Poor guy is only 31 as well. A lot of party time left in him. Alors, D, E, F. Encore plus difficile. Donc, comment Rémi a-t-il réussi à obtenir la garde de son fille? So, how did Rémi achieve in obtaining the guard of his son. So, how did he achieve, like, what would you call le, la garde en anglais? Um, custody of his son. So, it's down here. J'ai notamment insisté sur le fait que j'avais un emploi stable contrairement à elle. So, I've said, il a dit qu'il avait un emploi et sa ex-femme n'avait pas d'emploi. But this is the thing you need to do. He's got a job and his wife doesn't. So, il a un emploi stable. So that should be enough for the mark today. All right. I. Que fait Paul tous les jours après le travail? Donc, le soir. So, here we go. After work is the evening. Je l'aide à faire ses devoirs tout en préparant le dîner. It's two marks. So, you need. Il aide à faire les devoirs. Il prépare le dîner. Or, il cuisine. Voilà. Two marks for that. Simple. So, I haven't lifted and copied this. If you just copied all that sentence, you wouldn't get the mark. You've got to change the French, but keep it dead simple to ensure you get the mark. Look at that. Easy. Et finalement, F. À qui sont généralement confiés les enfants après un divorce? So, this is where your question words come in. And this is in your revision pack. À qui? To who? So, to who are generally confined the children after a divorce? So, who do kids usually go to after a divorce? Now, without even reading the text, you probably know this. Les enfants sont confinés à leur mère. So, you just need le mère or la mère or just the word mère to get the mark. Guys, give yourself a mark for this one. The text is nice. The questions are tough. If you struggled on these questions and these question words, get on the last two pages. It is the last two pages of your booklet that's got like must know question words. And I've got everyone that's ever come up at an A level. Alors, mes petits. Maintenant, c'est le temps pour la traduction. So, obviously, these are the times for if we were in class, you'd have five minutes and four minutes. But just set yourself on your timer, a 10 minute timer, and have a look at this. Two skills you need to know for the translation. I'm going to talk about them when we look at this and give you some clues. Alors, here's your translation for today. Now, translation is a phenomenally low scoring part of the exam. Like, not just at Glenthorne, for, for everyone, when you look at examiners' reports and when you do averages like I do on results day, the translation's always dirt low and I don't understand why. We, we have to sort this. There's easy marks to be won here if you just use your sense. Now, what people do is when they're translating something, they say, okay, let's translate this tense. 
marked by the rise of individualism, but always a source of solidarity. Doesn't make any sense in English. You cannot do that. So for the translation, read the whole entire sentence you want to translate. Okay, so read this in French and understand it. Then you're not translating this word for word. That's, that's not going to make any sense. We just did like some questions. And, and as I was going through them, I was translating them word for word to work out what they were. And I was doing it out loud. And the word order was wrong. The way it was said was wrong. I said, oh, in English, you wouldn't say it like this. You've still got to do that. You are the English speaker. You've got to make this sound English. You just have to keep the meaning of the text, but you don't have to keep it word for word for word. So we do the first sentence together. I'll show you what I mean, and then it's down to you. So marked by the rise of individualism, but always a source of solidarity, the family is today considered as an institution in mutation. Do not bloody write that. That's, that's absolute gibberish. What's this trying to say? OK, so where are you going to find it difficult? marked by the rise of individualism now i'm not going to use the word marked um, but still a source of solidarity I'm not going to use solidarity in english doesn't make sense the family is today considered as an institution of mutation absolutely not what's the meaning of this so une institution en mutation in mutation means like it's changing so today family today is seen as or considered as um, an, an institution that's changing. That's what I need, changing. You wouldn't use the word mutation in English unless you're talking about cells or something like that. Marked by the rise of individualism. I wouldn't use marked. This is what. Here we go. I put instead of marked, affected by the rise of individualism. Family has been affected by the rise of individualism, but it's still a source of solidarity. I'm going to have to think about that. Or rather, you're going to have to think about it. Put me on pause for 10 minutes. See if you can work this out and then I'll go through like an answer, not necessarily the answer. If you're close or you've made it, give yourself the mark, but don't translate word for word. Think about what you can do. Now, this isn't a test. You can look stuff up. Go on wordreference.com if you're stuck. See what sounds right. This will take a long time, but it'll be worth it. And so guys, here's the answers I've got. Now, if you haven't got exactly this, you can, you can still give yourself the mark and I hope this has been a really good experience for you to see just how challenging this translation is, how important vocabulary is, and also your grammar and just your knowledge of what's going on. So this is what I'd go for, and it still sounds a bit dodgy to me. I'm still not really happy with this, but it would still get full marks. Uh, affected by the rise of individualism, but still a source of solidarity. I didn't like that. I think what it's trying to say is, but it's still an important part of our lives. So people are more individual now, and they're less concerned with the family, but families are still a very important part of us in our lives the family today is considered a changing institution the growing number of births outside marriage the rise of civil partnerships and the transformation of relationships between parents and children all this contributes to a new family landscape so paysage can be countryside but i think here yeah, it'd be a, a different landscape the landscape has changed is what you'd say put me on pause have a little look at your translation see if it's close to mine and what you got Add up. This next bit was a bit tougher. So the traditional family where roles were strictly codified. No, if you follow a code, that means like they're accepted. So what this sentence is trying to say is this, the rules of a traditional family were cemented. So back in the day, you had like the father who was the head of the house, the mother who is this. All that's changed. So I said I'd say the traditional family where roles were strictly cemented has been replaced by something private with more flexible and open rules. In other words, since the 60s, families in France have undergone significant changes. So this is the tough bit, yeah. So uh, la France ont connu des changements importants. Have known important changes? Nah, that wouldn't work. You, I know this is connaître is a verb to know, but it just doesn't work like that here. So I'd say, yeah, undergone or happened or something like that. Significant changes. Perfect. And then this bit was quite nice. Fewer marriages, more divorces, more living together, more reconstituted constituted families or well, yeah i didn't know how to translate that and single parent families fewer large families and more births outside and so i hope this revision has been really helpful for you guys and, and you've got a greater feel of what the exam will be like and you're confident on module one we have five more modules to go starting with education the video will be up next week and it'll be the same thing again a listening a reading and a translation together you know how effective this is guys these lessons are a mere drop in the ocean how to get good is the work you do at home so work hard um, and do well guys excellent effort today bonne forme petit uh, i'll see you next week merci au revoir